We've come to know Shamira Moodley as the Lani Rani, and her ever fertile imagination comes up with a steady stream of inspired moments. She's been focusing her energy on chasing away the midwinter blues recently, and she shared her latest crop of ideas for the wardrobe and the kitchen with Karishma. Derived from the Sanskrit Rani can be translated as Duchess or Queen, and Shamara Mudli suddenly cuts a regal figure in her eclectically styled outfits. It never guessed that much of her wardrobe is made up of repurposed garments, reimagined by a spirit who knows exactly what she wants. Shamara Mudli is a resourceful lass with a lot of sass, and today she's going to show me her take on winter fashion and food. So lovely to see you again. Oh no, it's lovely to see you too. It's so cold outside and I have to say, I'm really not a winter person, but I do love a really good fire, which I see you have going there. I do, Karishma, and guess what? I love winter. It is my favorite season indeed. It's such a powerful season. I mean, I sat here looking at that fire and just reflecting on life. I have loads of tips to get you out of those winter blues. I love that. Should we get going? Uh -huh. I love the Shamara, so stunning. One of my top tips is how to get your wardrobe to work for you. So it has to be functional and at the same time, fabulous. On a Sunday, spend 10 minutes going through your current wardrobe, pick out a few fabulous pieces that you absolutely love and then incorporate it with some comfortable things like jeans, sneakers, and put it out there. Sometimes during the week as a busy mom, I don't have time before the school run to go rummaging through my wardrobe. But if I know that I've got a couple of key pieces that can do me well for the school run, I'm good to go. Now, I really love that. Winter Karishma is all about texture and vibrancy. So you just want to create a happy sunshine mood, even if it's gloomy outside. This is an interesting piece. It's one of the few designer branded items I have. But to tell you the truth, I got it of shop bargaining. I love the fact that it has almost that ugly Christmas sweater quirk to it. The colour is amazing, the pattern is amazing and then I have to go and be a diva and add something to it because I like that. So you can see here I've got a little hand crocheted piece that I've added as a shoulder embellishment. And then my latest obsession with something I've had for a while is this one. It's got a little bit of orange pop to it and then I've added the lace. So for a little more texture and then like this. Yes, now this is what makes it stand out. This is a little thing that I just pulled off an old sari and easy as can be, you've got one I kind. Now I think that's amazing because Shamaro, you really are the queen of reworking things. Do you think that's a good way to restyle, upscale, reinvent your wardrobe from season to season? Karishma, if you look at my blog, there's something about sustainable fashion. But what does that mean to a real, regular person? Well, it means firstly, shop your own wardrobe. So go through your pieces, find what you love, and rework them. I've actually taken the challenge to blog for an entire year without spending a dime. So I'm gonna have to keep up with trends and monetize my existing wardrobe to meet those trends, but just using what I already have, proving the point that it is possible to be fabulous and stylish using what you already have. So if that fails, borrow. Granny, mom, sister, please can I borrow this and share. Shamara, I've been really curious about this dude or dudette standing next to me here. Can you explain this? What I've done here is actually taken an old blanket that I had. And interestingly enough, this blanket is actually made 100% from recycled fabric and it's made in South Africa. And what I've done is I have put in sleeves and I've tailored a little bit to give you an amazing silhouette. And this is my latest rug belt. It's warm, it's fabulous, and it's nothing like anybody else can have. Tamara, you really amaze me. I think this is fabulous. And I have to say, when it comes to both fashion and food in winter, I'm all about comfort. How about you? Definitely, Karishma. And I have something that's gonna make you happy and your belly happy, but you, my dear, are going to have to work for your tea time treat, so let's go. This looks interesting. Karishma, you spoke about comfort food. And for me, this is really a sense of nostalgia. The smell of warm banana bread baking in winter is just unbeatable. But my take is something that's healthy and just really enhances and lifts your mood. Karishma, would you please get started on these bananas? 
Of course. There's really no method to this madness. You just whack it into the blender. So don't worry about liquids and the dry ingredients. Just throw it all in and chill out. There goes my cocoa powder. And now to add my coconut flour. My favorite breakfast staple, the oat bran. Amazing. Okay, I'm going to then add my baking powder. Cinnamon. Can you smell that? It's beautiful. And then throw in my oil. My apple cider vinegar. And then last, I'm gonna throw in my eggs. There you go. Come on, Karishma. Okay. Here we go, that's the last two. I'm just gonna pop this in the blender. So Karishma, that's all blended and ready to go. And I'm about to take something basic and make it fab. I've lined my pan with coconut oil and dusted it with sesame seeds. So these are bananas that I have left and haven't added. So I'm gonna add them to the top and they're just gonna kind of give it a roasted banana flavor. Yum. So Karishma, we're gonna pour this in very quickly. You're so good with the bananas. Do you wanna put them on top? I can. And obviously we'll throw in some nuts for crunch. Okay, and then I'll do the nuts. Mm -hmm. Go, great. And our lovely sunflower seeds. Karishma, this is xylitol. Now you can easily replace it with a little bit of brown sugar. It just adds like a lovely texture and helps roast the bananas. And then you whack it in the oven at 170 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes. So Karishma, while that's in the oven, I've got something so exciting to show you. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's go. What are we going to be doing with these beautiful scarves? I have some quick, easy, simple DIY stuff for you to do. Amazing first project that includes some scrap fabric you have lying around at home. So now all you need is an old balance band. Okay. I'm sure you can find one of these. Now, I don't know about you. Do you ever struggle wearing scarves? Yes, and they're always slipping and falling off, and I never know how to place them or style them properly. Well, this will save you all the hassle, and guess what? It takes two minutes, and if you really want, it doesn't even include any sewing. Oh, so what you're gonna need to do is fold your fabric roughly in half. You want to loop your hand through and make a super simple basic knot. Grab your other span, and you're gonna thread that through there, and you're gonna quickly pull. And then you wanna take your fabric and just wrap it around the side so as to cover the scarf. Are you ready to get started? Yes. It looks Fabulous, these colors, that's what you're wearing. Now, my secret tip to save you the hassle of tying would be to use a hair elastic like this one. Head. Now, I had a piece of sari fabric from a blouse and it was rather short. Exactly the same process, but I just sewed up the end. Well, you know, I'm taking your advice. You mm -hmm. said borrow stuff, so I'm just going to borrow yeah, no, this. Yeah, there's a sari embellishment that you're obsessed about. Go I'm ahead. just going to borrow this for a few days. <laughs> Shamara, ever since you started your blog, do yeah. you find that more and more people have been asking you to style them? Yes, they have. And honestly, it's, it's a huge compliment. But for style, for me, fashion and styling, it's something, a bit of a journey. It isn't paint by numbers as such. It's something that I have developed along the way and I'm continuing to evolve. I would just say my advice to young girls and women out there is to be yourself. You have to feel comfortable with what you're wearing. Literally, it starts on the inside. It's when you're happy, you make things look fabulous. So be that little girl that you once wore when you looked in the mirror and you thought you looked amazing, no matter what. It really is about a sense of confidence and a belief in who you are. Well, I have to tell you, the smell of that banana bread has me salivating. Should we go check if it's ready? Let's go. That smells absolutely divine. Shamara, thank you so much for today. I've learned so many tips and tricks, and I definitely think they're gonna help me keep those winter blues away. Oh, I'm glad, and I've loved spending time with you.